Hi all. Uh, in this video, we will see how to clean up a table in SQL Server. In SQL Server, uh, whenever uh, we have huge amount of data, nothing but billions of data in a table, where there is no uh, maintenance window in production servers, it is very hard to clean up the data. So, in SQL Server, we have few SQL tricks that we can apply while cleaning up data so that we can minimize the locks that are applying on the table while doing uh, cleanups. So here if you see uh, we have an environment uh, where we have a table with millions of records, absolute records that we need to uh, remove without impacting any business when there is no any maintenance window. So as I said we have few uh, SQL tricks that we can apply to delete the data where uh, we have a primary key. So here see uh, just assume there are four, 400 million records in a table with 330 millions of absolute records. So just here I am taking an example with a table event table with the details uh, event ID as a primary key and other details event status ID duration close date. So here event ID is a primary key and identity column for each and every record uh, the ID will be incremented auto incremented by one means uh, suppose for first 10 records are nothing but very oldest to records in the table. So uh, here as event ID is the identity column with the primary key constraint, it always increases the value for each and every insert in the table. So uh, when we have millions of records in our table, if we delete the data and a column that is that does not have any constraints it takes huge amount of time. So if you see the delete statement here I, ha I have written delete from event where event close date is less than the particular date whatever the date. So just assume this date will uh, have the nothing but the date less than will have the records that we need to delete. So uh, with that SQL statement uh, as uh, it runs more more number of uh, nothing but uh, it will take more time to uh, execute the query and clean up the data. It apply many locks on the server so that a production server may come slow down and few of the cases many of the operations may not work as uh, locks will apply. So uh, with that uh, not only a locks it takes uh, significant input output and CPU cost as there is no index on this column. Even if we use the column that we have index that is event id to remove the data, still it takes more time because uh, the data directly you are getting some delete uh, top 7 records are directly delete from 7 table from event. Uh, directly it will apply the locks on uh, complete table, it takes uh, the table completely will be locked and um, none of the production operation will be work on this table and all the operations went on hold. So uh, to perform this uh, just I will show you an example uh, where I have a table uh, event table now here I am inserting uh, just 1 million records into this event table as you all know the purpose of this go it it's nothing but it's a kind of loop iteration the loop will be iterated this number of times 1 million times so the insert statement will be executed continuously 1 million times for each and every go. So for this statement uh, 1 million records will be inserted in the event table. So currently we do not have any records in the event table. I am executing this statement. So as uh, it have millions of records uh, it would be better uh, I will stop here once and I will execute with no count. First I will execute no count and execute the statement. So here beginning execution loop by default the go will be treated as a loop and as we are inserting 1 million records definitely it takes some amount of time not sure how much time it takes around 5 to 5, five or 6 minutes uh, let the process run. So uh, once we have the data on the SQL Server table we have two options. So this is the event closed and delish operation and event closed date where 
we do not have any constraints definitely takes more time and it will completely lock the table it will apply ex exclusive lock on the table and the table will go on uh, in lock mode even if you use just delete from event table directly it will use the event id primary key constraint uh, then also it the complete lock will be applied but the uh, uh, delete operation may be little uh, fast so here uh, to delete this data without affecting any production servers where we do not have any maintenance window on the production server we have few sql tricks that we can apply uh, and we can delete the data so here uh, we have uh, i have written three steps one is to create a view to force row deletion by that is by order by primary key and another one is creating a store procedure and looping the store procedures continuously uh, by deleting a small uh, number of records in each and every single batch nothing but executing the procedure uh, by de uh, to delete a record in a batch mode in each and every batch we can configure to delete some 1000 or 2000 3000 records and another one is setting setting up a sql job the job is continuously executing on production that the non stop uh, execution means in each and every execution the job will delete the configured number of records that nothing but 2000 or 3000 records will be deleted in each and in each and every run so here uh, what we do is we will get the oldest 2000 records or any other 3000 records and we will get those records into a view and we will uh, delete those records so so that uh, whatever the 2000 or 3000 records stored in the pages those pages will be those pages records will be uh, occupied by this view whenever you run this query those only pages will be get logged and the records will be deleted for the any other new records those will be inserted as the, as the primary key constant and uh, event id and that is identity column uh, all the columns will be uh, all the records will be inserted with the new identity column and those will be stored into the new pages so here uh, as i said in our first step creating a view Suppose creating a view here, I am selecting a top 2000 rows uh, that to order by primary key identity key column. So, uh, and in this view, uh, if you see uh, the target of this view is nothing but a delete statement. And in this view, uh, I have taken order by class. The order by ensures the rows are the oldest for the delete to follow and lets us add an order by to delete so nothing but so here in a view i am selecting top 2000 records by order by event id uh, without creating a view if you directly run a delete statement where uh, using an order by it won't work nothing but delete won't accept order by class so that is what i stated here uh, oldest uh, order by to a delete uh, something sql will not allow so that's why I'm taking a view where I'm selecting the top 2000 records order by event ID. This view will be fetch this top 2000 records. Now uh, after fetching those 2000 records, I will uh, pass these 2000 records in a batch first to delete the records uh, in the procedure that I'm going to create. So in my procedure, I will uh, create this 2000 records in each and every batch. So here I am not increasing this batch size, the record that I want to delete in a single batch. Because if I increase this batch size, it may uh, there are more number of chances to increase the lock or it throw lock, lock escalations. And uh, so the amount of time, nothing but uh, the period of time where the exclusive locks applied might be increased. So that's why I want to reduce this batch size. And other thing is, so based on my business, uh, nothing but in my example, I'm going to delete the records which are older than six days. That is what I'm this event close date is representing. So here uh, the loop uh, code, as I said, the loop will uh, continuously repeated by deleting the 2000 records in each and every step. This continues until all the table rows are deleted that are less than the maximum value. So now I will show the procedure that I have written. 
so this procedure as i said i have i'm taking the condition even close date to less than 6 get date minus 6 and i'm taking the variable by assigning to value 2000 here this value should be equal to the value that we are capturing the records to the view because uh, what i am doing in my next step is i am getting the count of the records that i want to delete from the event table here uh, i will divide this count by this 2000 so that i will get the number of batches the number of loops that i want to iterate to delete the complete uh, count in my table so nothing but uh, as i am deleting this 2000 with the total count it will give the number of loops in each and every loop i am deleting the same number of records uh, nothing but the 2000 will be fetched by the view and at the same 2000 records will be uh, deleted with this delete statement here uh, this count and the number of records that is fetching by the view should be same because if you see uh, if you set this variable value to 1000 and the view is uh, returning 2000 records here as you if you delete this total number of records with the 1000 Uh, as you have 1 million records in your table nothing but 10 lakhs if you delete that by 1000 you will get uh, some 1000 iterations or uh, some 10000 iterations sorry 1000 iterations you will get 1000 iterations in the 1000 iterations you are planning to delete uh, 10000 uh, 2000 records so with that uh, before the 1000 iterations only that complete table data will be get deleted because in each and every run we are deleting 2000 records with the thousand iterations it comes to 2 million records but in our table we have a single mil, uh, 1 million records so that's why the count should be same as the view that is returning the records nothing but the count that we are dividing with the table count and giving the loops okay so here directly i'm deleting i'm writing the delete statement it will delete the re complete records uh, from that view and the same uh, i'm going to the next loop here so in the third step i am creating a sql job so here for the 330 million rows this job will take days to complete but the best thing is uh, here we will have very little contention even if we run clean up jobs right to the busiest processing window without any issues we can run it so i am showing the code now again so here uh, the job completed now we have uh, 1 million records in our table around just now i interrupted the job and again i ran red so that's why i am seeing more number of records uh, than 1 million so this is the procedure procedure code as i stated in my second step i am taking the count as 2000 uh, so here the view i have created the view this view contains 2000 records from the event table we can run this view also so it's give 2000 records 2000 records so in my so uh, from this event table it will give the complete count so whatever the records i want to delete okay uh, and this is the variable 2000 so by it will get the count whatever the count i am getting here i am dividing this count with 2000 so that i will get the number of loops here if you want you can see the loop i will uh, run this query manually see you can get the number of loops that you that you will get so you will get find out five loops okay uh, so for this find find out five loops the complete table data will get deleted uh, now uh, i am executing this i am running i am altering this procedure code i am executing this procedure this procedure executed this procedure ran for 36 seconds and deleted complete table data with available iterations 